Yo, this is a new mic. Should sound a lot better doing these voiceovers. Anyhow, Tuesday night jackpot. Uh, different lake. Never been there before. Um, talked to a couple of friends that fish it. They say it's got a bunch of little bass and a couple big ones. <laughs> That's all they really told me. They said, uh, it's got some grass. Go find grass. Alright, it's almost time to go. Almost time to go. It's like I should retie this, but screw it. <laughs> yeah, Cause I already used it for two trips already. <laughs> if it was good enough for the last cast, it was good enough for the first cast, okay? <laughs> I just can't lean on it so hard if it if it bites. <laughs> Dang it! I should have retied that one, man. Even Jeff told me to retie it. <laughs> Dang, that was deep. Decently deep. Where are you going, Jeff? You can go all the way up there? No? Yeah. I know. Where's Luke? Don't worry, man. It won't be won the same way. It's never won the same way. I've tried it at a show. It's never won the same way. It might be in the same area, but not the same way. So, I get to this offshore grass spot. I mean, I'm in 10 foot water. And there's a bunch of grass. I don't know what kind of grass exactly. But see on side imaging, there's like a bunch of grass. I'm fishing the grass line, like 10 feet. It gets very really sparse as it goes to 12, so I'm trying to key on that. And uh, nothing yet. But my luck's about to change in a bit. And uh, once I got to this spot, there's actually a lot of surface activity, so I don't I don't think there's any white bass in here. And I believe the only predatory fish would be uh, largemouths, so... But it, it's gotta be largemouths. I'm, I'm just fishing really aggressively, trying to deflect off of some uh, grass and get a reaction bite. And right now I'm thinking top water, but I don't have one really tied up yet. And that was a bite, miss. A small fish. Later on, we go to find there's a bunch of little fish in this lake, like my buddies were saying. And it's really hard to find the, the big fish. But yeah, I'm throwing a half ounce chatterbite. Chatterbites. Jackhammer, of course. Um, white chartreuse with a razor shad. And that was about it. Yeah, see, a lot of short strikes. Uh, like I said, I've been sitting about 10 feet of water, lots of grass left and right, a bunch of clumps. And I am, I won't say I'm burning it, it's a slow reel, and then when it hits something, I'll just sweep the rod a little bit. And then let it pause for a second and then go again. But just a bunch of random stuff. I mean, I don't really know too much about my own retrieves, I don't want to put them in categories. But I will say I was slow or I'm fast with pauses. Like this is uh, just cleaning grass off the blade. Um, anyways, the, the rod reel setup, it's a 7.4 uh, cranking rod. Cranking slash bladed jig rod. And I'm throwing it on 40 pound uh, Power Pro braid to 20 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. Uh, reels a seven gear ratio. I mean, nothing real special. It is kind of an expensive setup, but um, you can do this with anything out there. This is personal preference. And this is probably where I get my first bite. That's a 
big one. That's a, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's big. That's what you get fishing offshore, boys. That's what you do for fishing offshore. Fishing offshore. Mm -hmm. I think you just found my favorite spot, guys. That one's for Scott. Scotty, fishing your lake today. What? 18. Yep, was right back there. Actually, 19 and a half. Yep, that's a strong 19 and a half, all right. All right, we good. Thanks, buddy. 19 and a half. 19 and a half. I knew that was dead. Piece of bait. Emergency repairs, man. Emergency repairs. The jackhammer does have a skirt that is hand tied, which is awesome. At the same time, not so awesome because the tie job is not the best. Repairs, guys. Emergency repairs. Come on. What time is it? It's seven o'clock. Two hours to catch two more. Two biggins. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. All right. So there it is. An ugly ass chatterbait. How big one? Okay. We got Thorner. Yeah, small one. Huh? What? Okay. But it's a big old flat. I gotta clean it up first. Good one. Eleven and a quarter. Eleven and a quarter. Yep, eleven and a quarter. There you go, buddy. Is a eleven and a half. 
Eleven three quarter. Eleven. It's eleven three quarter. Cool, cool. Let you go, buddy. Eleven three quarter. That's the limit. Oh, a giant catfish. Oh my god. Giant catfish, guys. A giant catfish. Look at this flathead. Can't do this, guys. Not right now. Look at this giant flathead. Look at this giant flathead. Oh my god. That's a big one, alright. That's a big one, alright. Look at that. That's a big one, alright. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a giant. That's a giant. Oh, look at that. You were supposed to be a bass. You're supposed to be a bass. A catfish. Ow! 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 Check it out. Check it out. Catfish. <laughs> yeah, so there's a bunch of like fish chasing bait. So I'm throwing everything else too. This is a little wake bait that I really like. It's a blue gear imitation. Threw that for a little bit. Nothing. Uh, I even threw the Whopper with, yeah, Whopper Popper later. Nothing. So the only thing I could get him to do was react. I don't. I couldn't get him to do anything else. This better be a bass. It's a big one, Jeff. Go, let go. That's a twenty. All right. That's a, that's a twenty. I know that's a twenty. I think that's a twenty. Let's take a look. There she go, boys. There she goes. It's a twenty. Twenty. 23 quarter. <sighs> All right. Okay. 23 quarter, man. 20 and 3 quarters. Woo, that's a big one. That's a big one.
Fine, dude, man. This is not working. All right, what we got today is uh, we got all my bites came with chatterbait. So, offshore, net. see, this is what it looks like. All this type of stuff right here. Grass, grass, and more grass. This is in about 10 foot of water. Just cranking the top of that grass with a chatterbait hopping it out. First one came on a just a slow retrieve, but all the other ones, well, actually, most of them were slow retrieves. The only the big one, the biggest one, came on a hop. So, hopping chatterbait and grass is pretty good. So, I had a feeling coming out here. If I could find a good offshore bite, it was just gonna camp on it. And lucked out, lucked out. Let's see if we can win something. Uh, yeah, 51, almost 52. Yeah. Hope so. Cause today is a gambling day. Huh? You? Offshore, so I had to go deep. It's shallow. Yeah. I found some trees down at 22. They went that deep though. I fished. There's one spot I fished down at 16 yeah. with some boulders. They went down that deep. Yeah, but the thermal climb is at like 15. That's what Jeff said too. Like 12, 15. But I was just like, it should be in this grass. It gotta be in this grass. It's too dirty to not be in the grass. And then as soon as, soon as I got there, my first bite was a 19. So I was pretty. I was just committed. <laughs> I was just like. I got a 17. I was on a three eighths. I should have went to a half. I was on a half. Three eighths, long shit. Yep. But at my spot, dude, they were boiling. I know. My spot was like boiling too, but yeah. they wouldn't take anything. I don't know what kind of bait they were chasing, but they weren't. They weren't taking anything. I threw a top water. I threw my little wake bait. I was hoping they would explode on that, but nothing. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Bass, I think. No, they are bass. What else can they be? It's bass. But some of them were small, though. I caught a couple. Like I had like five or six short strikes, and like that ten foot zone too. So not all of them were big. Just got lucked out. The big ones I hit, but. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, right here. Flood two or nine. 2019, you know, I got that 20 up in there. And I'm being Vincent now. Alright, well, that's the end of the day. Uh, I did end up winning uh, both categories, big bass and uh, the 30 fish limit to, you know, to get first place. So, uh, it was a pretty gambly day, put it that way. I had just enough bites for the win. I was talking to a lot of other guys, and they were, they were, if I didn't get that last one in the last 15 minutes, there, it wouldn't have, there wouldn't have been enough. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys.